On the other hand, emotions are chemical reactions from the brain or a response of the nervous system. They are compensations. They are false feelings. But emotions are necessary for us. We need to become aware of our emotions in order to understand or see our truth. Emotions are a guide and point to where inner truth has been lost. And this, this applies when, when somebody is trying to outmaneuver you in a situation, a job, a co-worker, find out where the truth is lost, right? They, they come with a particular perception. And what is wonderful, that it gives you the opportunity to go from emotion into a feeling. Because when somebody says to me, blah, 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 you know, sometimes I react depending upon what comes to me. But most often I try to figure out what's the real story here? What's the real truth? Why is she trying to take me down? Why is she so rude? What's the real, what's the truth here? This is very powerful when you use an emotion in a really uplifting way and turn it into a feeling. Because most often, when someone says, oh, I feel wounded by the people around me, or I feel wounded by my congregation, or I feel wounded by my co-workers, or she was really, stop feeling all these, um, turn it into something more powerful. Ask yourself, what am I not knowing? What do I need to know that I don't see? What's the real truth here? Because emotions blind you, but em but also emotions can lead you to an insight if you allow that to happen. Emotions can be great insights. That's what emotions are meant to partially do. Keep going. Understanding emotions can help untangle the knots of defenses, which are attempts to avoid experiencing a place of deficiency, which maintains separation from our inner self. Can you read that again? Understanding emotions can help untangle the knots of defenses which are attempted to avoid the experiences a place of deficiency. Look at emotions totally differently now. Not as, I'm angry. They give you the opportunity. Understanding emotions can, can help you untangle the knots of defenses which are attempting to avoid the experiences a place of deficiency. However, <clears throat> some people are not even in touch with their emotions. They are not only cut off from their inner self, they are cut off from their emotions too. They have only their thoughts, which are the result of emotions. So Did everybody hear that? this is lost in the mental world. This is very big. Most people, you think that most people, that's why I said to you, find out what is really going on. Think about this. They only have their thoughts which are results of emotions. They only have thoughts, nothing else. 80% of the people that offend you because there's a lack of consciousness, there's something missing. They're not just what they're saying. They only have thoughts. That's it. Nanu, nanu, disconnect it. They're out of the system. They're out of the yellow pages. They are gone, right? So you gotta stop and ask questions where is this person, what's really going on here? Is this person only with all these thoughts? Which is dangerous, that's what most people, that unconscious, hmm? They're psychopaths. Well, psychopaths, are, you're correct, you're totally correct, psychopath, but there's a lot of psychopaths in this world, and narcissists, right? They only have thoughts. And th so when they speak to you, you feel that there's this whole you know, defense mechanism or page is missing, like how could you, because you feel they're so disconnected? They are. They only have, and that disturbs very conscious people. Because you're like, are you for real? Because you're, you're missing the rest of it, right? So the other 80% isn't there, and you're like, I don't understand. Like, because you want, them to, you want them to feel. You want them to be empathetic. You want them so you are offended. And so when you ask yourself, what is really going on? Does, is she dealing with a full deck of cards in what she's telling me? Most of the time, that isn't true. But they look emotional. But they look emotional. They look emotional. So how do you deal with them? Get a gun. 
I witnessed out of a restaurant yesterday something extraordinary happened just to speak to that. I was sitting there quietly on the meal and this lady walked in and she was angry coming right through the crowd. Yeah. And she walked right over and she started pointing at her husband who was sitting at a table with six people. Sorry. You need to give because Linda doesn't hear, so make sure you Sorry. Sorry about that. So there were six people sitting at the table and this lady charged in and she started pointing her finger like a weapon at her husband. I presumed it was a husband. And how many times have I told you this? And she talked to him like he was a two-year-old or a four-year-old. Mm -hmm. Everyone was in shock. And she didn't get it at all. She didn't get her behavior was totally off the planet. And she was totally in her mind. And her husband started arguing back at her. And then I watched the table move. I watched the guy at the end move around, come down to his daughter and wife, and they had a conversation. They got up and they moved. And everybody moved. And the two of them were left there on their own. And I just watched them all move on. And then she calmed down because he said something. As finally she, she finally got a little bit grounded because he must have given her some feedback, some information she didn't have. And then she started justifying her behavior. And Which is what people who justify their behavior are only people in that have thoughts. Yes. She was a so perfect example. you break them down. When somebody like that happens, you need to break down and just... I remember a woman um, that came to the first retreat or the second retreat. She came after Robert and insulted him like you wouldn't believe. And I'm watching what is going on. And she is pretty manic at this stage. So you gotta figure out very quickly, what do I need to do? So I'm talking to her and she is just over the top. I mean, like in another dimension. And so I just looked at her and I said, you know what? I just can't believe this is really coming out of you because your heart tells me so different story. So, mm -hmm. no, seriously. And I said, like, what's going on? Because you're so much more what you're projecting. I don't understand. I don't know how to deal with you. But if you get the other part of you coming back, I can talk to that part. Is that possible? She started crying instantaneously. Right? So it's not about, I know how to be offensive very quickly. I mean, I, because I learned how to understand human awareness and consciousness and how to, you know, do all of that. But in most office, most office, in most situations, when you're there, you say, George, that's a great thought, but you know, I'm trying to get a feeling for what you're saying to me. George is lost. <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand your theory, so I'm trying to feel my way through what you're telling me. So that's how you break them down to get them to feel and make sense. And most men and women that are really, really, really brilliant are thrown by people that only have thoughts, but they appear to be emotional. And so that's where you lose your own confidence and your own integrity and your own belief in yourself because that breaks you down. And the moment you feel that, you're saying, okay, Bob, I mean, what you're, you know, obviously you've put a lot of thought to this. You know, it's great what you've done, but I just can't grasp what you're telling me. So I'm trying to feel my way through this. So tell me, and then you're breaking them down into feeling their way through with you. And that's how you deal with those kinds of behaviors. The most insulting people with the same force they can come with you or at you can be completely dissolved with compassion and understanding. You make them feel, and they're a whole boom, gone. Like they just, their whole deck of cards just, God. And what about the people that aren't so obvious but drop all these bombs? Then you, you become aware of the bombs that they drop and then you bring that back up and say, you know what, I've listened to you, this was a comment, this was a comment, this is a comment, and I feel you're trying to tell them, you know, you're trying to tell us something in our meeting, but I'm not grasping what you're saying. You embarrass them, I know it sounds odd, you embarrass them with compassion. Do you understand that? You don't use you're not publicly embarrassing them, but you're really embarrassing them with a form of compassion where they change their behavior because their subconscious is observing what you're saying. And if you insult them, they come back with being insulted. But if you write down all the points and just say, I'm really trying to get you because you're, you're trying to articulate something and you use compassion, you let your soul talk to them, not your personality, changes everything. 
curious, just with curiosity, so you're curious about their behavior. Yes, totally curious. So I, what I'm trying to do is when something like that happens, like what do I, you know, automatically, if I think, okay, I need to be curious about this person, what's yeah. causing them to behave this way. Yeah. So it's combining, I guess, curiosity and, as you said, compassion. Yeah. That's how you deal with those You know, things. your first instinct can be, you know what, I want to take a gun and shoot the mother. <laughs> it's okay. Let that be your first thought. If your first thought wants to be, I just want to, you know, shoot the mother, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Get it out of the way. Just say, okay, deposit, boom, done. 